Hello guys, welcome back to another video. David's off work today for the holiday. And this morning we just got up and had some breakfast and I did some editing and then we went to the gym. And then David walked the girls and we just had a little lunch and we are gonna make, or I'm gonna make a grocery list and we're gonna go over to Sprouts and do some grocery shopping. But I wanted to go ahead and start another vlog and uh, bring you guys with us when we go shopping today. It finally stopped raining today. It's been raining, it rained all weekend and it's basically been raining for about two weeks. It's supposed to rain this afternoon though, isn't it? So it's gonna start raining again, but I think after like today, tomorrow, it starts clearing up on like Wednesday. Anyway, I'm gonna make a grocery list and when we head out for Sprouts, I'll bring you guys with us. Okay, I have been desperate to try these because I haven't seen them anywhere. Let's see, they have Ken Bloom. This one is Light Wave and Ken Spritz. I think the Ken Spritz looks great. So they're $4 a piece though. Okay. Let's try them. <laughs> May 2nd, so we're work, we're buying all of these. All of them? This is how you stop up. Just got done at Sprouts and being tired just hit me like a freaking brick wall. I'm so sleepy. I like could not, <laughs> you know, when you like are super tired and you're like zoning out and you're, you can tell that your eyeballs are like, you look like you're like cracked out. They're like huge and you're just staring off into the distance. I like kept doing that over and over again. I'm like, I probably look insane. But we got fully stocked up on groceries and they had a lot of good sales and stuff. And we had some like, um, coupons and like a $10 off coupon. I got some coconut oil for coconut pulling so I want to start doing that. Um, it's like really, really good for your teeth and your gums and your like oral hygiene. That's the word I was thinking of. Is that all time. that's in it? Is just coconut oil? Um, I think some something else. I'm not sure. But now we're heading over to Costco. I was going to get some of the Calm like magnesium powder that we all know about it's super popular but years ago i had it and i i don't know how to, i don't know how we learned about that did you figure yeah, it out we looked it up. yeah we you looked it up researched it on lab door okay yeah so it's apparently like it has like some lead and like some like traces of lead and arsenic in it and Cadmium. i don't know that people know that but I was thinking like, okay, you know, I saw that it was really popular. It's It's been popular for a long time, but even like people that I follow who are um, like super into hormone balancing and like eating clean and taking clean supplements and stuff, I saw a lot of people using it. And I was like, oh, they must have like maybe redone it or fixed those problems. But then we looked it up on Labdoor. Labdoor is a website that we use to check how just does third party testing on supplements since they're not regulated by the FDA. Yeah, so like with our um, pre workout, we use Pure Pump by Do Vitamins and it's like super, super clean. And anyway, so when we have like a supplement or something, David went on there and checked and they have not taken those things out of it. I guess just people don't really know that and they just assume that it's a, you know, pure, like clean supplement. Anyway, all of that to say, we're going over to Costco because David saw a magnesium zinc calcium supplement, um, or is it powder? Uh, no, it's like a pill. Okay. They just have, it's just doesn't. They also test it on lab door and they don't, it doesn't have the trace elements of those heavy metals. Yeah, like it had like a hundred score on lab door. Yeah. And I'm sure that there's things that like it doesn't test for or that, I don't know. There's positives and negatives to everything, but I don't know. Just the fact that there is information out there that we found that shows the negative things for the one that you were looking at. For the at. calm one? Yeah. 
Yeah. So and I know I'd heard that before. I just assumed that they had fixed the problem because it was kind of like a known thing, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go, David's gonna run into Costco and grab that supplement because magnesium is supposed to be super helpful for like getting you to sleep naturally. Um, I used to take melatonin like every single night. I don't really do that anymore. And the times that I've taken melatonin recently, I have the weirdest dreams and like not a good, like not good quality sleep. Um, but I used to take it every single night and I stopped doing that like months ago and I've just been doing the nighttime tea, um, the one that's like nighttime 90 night extra with valerian root and that works so well but I need something that, I don't know, like that's good, the, t the tea, but I know the magnesium is just good for you in general and it'll probably like help me just fall asleep and stay asleep and have like quality sleep so. I want to try that out. Anyway, when we get home, I will show you guys everything we got at the store. All right, we're back home. Sorry, David has a uh, football playing on his phone. So we're gonna hear a little bit of that in the background. Um, okay, Costco, David grabbed some more liquid IVs, some bitchin' sauce, and this is the, it's calcium citrate, magnesium, and zinc. It's just like a little supplement. Um, so there's that, organic spring mix, salmon, and I think that's everything from Costco. And then Sprouts, I got three heads of organic romaine lettuce. These rolls here from Sprouts are so delicious. They smell incredible and they make for like the best sandwiches or breakfast sandwiches, they're so good. Um, some chickpea noodles, bonza noodles, a bag of organic potatoes. Y'all know the rule, we cannot go to the store and not get potatoes. Oasis all natural sprouted wheat bread. I love when bread has a bunch of like seeds and stuff because when you toast it and they get a little crunchy, it's so delicious. Dave's Everything Bagels. I got these as a little throwback because we used to get these Gardein chicken tenders all the time and we haven't had them in a long time, so I grabbed some of those. Some Daring Chicken and then some Hungry Planet Grilled Chicken Strips. Were these on sale or something? Yeah. And I just like them because they're really good in macros. Uh, some flax milk. I got some little carrot chips. And I got some cucumbers. I, I just like to have these as like a little snack to put on the side like with the sandwich or something or like dip it in like some bitchin' sauce. Day of mozzarella cheese. Veal Life cheddar cheese. Spinach. Cream cheese. The tofu one. Pretty good and some sprouts and tofurkey deli meat, Beyond Meat sausages, some more <laughs> vegan chicken. I think there was a coupon or something for these, so Dave grabbed three. They were also on sale. Really um, Hungry Planet Italian sausage crumble. This one's pretty good. David really likes this. Wow, we have so many groceries. We always get this Birch Benders brand plant protein pancakes. These are super yummy. And then when David makes them, he'll add like cinnamon and nutmeg and some clove and they're so tasty. A whole Greek yogurt for Sky, And some cherry tomatoes. I showed you guys that we got the Ken Euphorics. I'm really excited to try that out. And then cucumbers, avocado, rouse, tomato sauce. And then I got a Tom's Wild Lavender deodorant. Needed some new deodorant. And then this is Desert Essence Coconut Oil Pooling Rinse. Vital Farms eggs, apples, lemons. They had the Brahmi uh, pasta, 99 cents. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then some vegan low sodium vegetable broth, some bananas. And then David grabbed a whole box of birthday cake no cow bars. That's his favorite. And that's the grocery haul. That's a ton of stuff. So I'm gonna put everything away now.
Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I just got done with Pilates. It was a Reformer Flow 1.5 class with one of the instructors that I love how she teaches. I've said it so many times. I don't say the names just in case like someone I know from, a, from Pilates is subscribed if you are hey i don't dislike any instructors but there are instructors that you know in, but in i just way. like like the way that they teach and this one um i love the way that she puts a class together because it flows really well and it all makes sense so like in some classes um the instructor will get like a little too trying too many things and you spend more time like moving your equipment around and getting in different positions where you could just do how this one does and like make it flow really well. So if you're already facing in a direction, if you're already in a plank position, like that's a good time to change your springs and then do a move there and then it flows into the next move. Anyway, I just, I like the way that she, um, basically choreographs her class because it, it makes sense and it's always a good workout. So. That was a good class. Um, I am heading home now. I'm gonna go have my breakfast. I made some overnight oats last night and I was dreaming about those during class because I um, I just laid in bed a little bit too long this morning and didn't give myself enough time to eat before class and I really need to get better about having food in my stomach before I'm having my Celsius first thing in the morning, but like that's just what I do. I wake up, have water, and chuck a Celsius. And I know that that's like not ideal for your body and your hormones to have caffeine on an empty stomach, but I've just heard that it's not a good idea to have a to have coffee on an empty stomach. I haven't heard anything about like an energy drink like that, but I'm assuming that it's just caffeine in general. So I need to get better about at least having like a banana or a piece of toast or something before I'm drinking that. But I don't think that's actually going to change because I need that Celsius to like get me through getting ready in the morning. Um, anyways, I'm going to have all of that to say. I'm having overnight oats when I get home and I'm stoked about them. I did organic rolled oats, chia seeds, everything seed, uh, butter by the brand, I think it's called Fig and Fog or Fix and Fog or something like that. Um, the peanut butter has like pumpkin seeds and I think sesame seeds and just like, just yummy, crunchy. I love a crunchy peanut butter. I put a scoop of vanilla protein in there. I put cinnamon, oat milk, organic blueberries, maple syrup. It's so good every time. Then for the rest of the day, I really need to get some stuff done around the house. Um, I still have not washed our ski stuff from Breckenridge. It's just been sitting in the bag still um, next to the washer and dryer and I have not washed it yet. I almost, y'all, this is how bad. I almost started to wash it the other day, but then I realized that I needed to take some stuff out of the pockets and I didn't want to do that. So then that was a week ago already. Like, I, I don't know. I need to do that. I need to do the dishes. I need to tidy up the guest room. Um, I just have some things I need to do. My overnight oats are perfection. Mm. This is the peanut butter I use, or I've been using lately. Oh, it's Fix and Fog, everything butter with hemp, almond, peanut, pepita, chia, sesame, sunflower, and black seed. It is so good and very crunchy. Are you a creamy or crunchy peanut butter person? I like them both, but I like the crunch. I need to take the girls out one more time because Sky still has to go number two. And then it is time to clean do some stuff around the apartment i got these gold chunky earrings in the mail a couple days ago um i ordered them ordered them with that amazon order that i did in the last video if y'all missed that i did an amazon try on of a bunch of cute stuff um and i talked about these hoops i think but they weren't in yet i have gold 
hoops, but these are like thicker and they're kind of like a cool shape. Um, they will be on my storefront under reels and TikToks and accessories probably. Come on. Oh, the packaging is cool. Like look at the shape of the, they're not like perfect circles and they're chunky and they just look cool. Like they have a little personality to them. Okay, this packaging is so cute. Yeah, so. That's what they look like. Love them. Then my worries would be out of sight Too far away I wish I had a hiding place Hiding place Obligations just to clear my mind Get away, get away I'm vibing to a song that I don't know I shouldn't be thinking about tomorrow I shouldn't be thinking about tomorrow All right, I have been cleaning up for a while and also editing some stuff and starving. It's already almost three o'clock. So let's have a little snack. I really want a bagel sandwich maybe. Actually, I want all kinds of stuff. I want <laughs> some apple slices. I want a bagel with cream cheese. Also want some carrot chips with bitchin' sauce. That sounds perfect to me. Ooh, and a little green juice. This honestly looks fabulous to me. Open up some vision sauce. Do I need that apple? I just finished tidying up the guest room. I finally have our ski stuff in the dryer right now, just for a little bit so it's not like soaked. And it had dog hair all over because I had just washed the dog's like blankets before and forgot. So when I took the ski stuff out, was covered in hair so I'm putting it in the dryer mostly just to shake off some of that extra hair. Hi Sky, what you doing in there? Hi. Little carrot chips. Oh. Oh yeah. Do some bitchin' sauce. Some carrot chip. A little tofu vegan cream cheese. I wish they had the Kite Hill uh, chive cream cheese, but they didn't have it at the store. I'm gonna put everything bagel seasoning on my everything bagel, because I can never have enough. And the cream cheese doesn't have a strong flavor, so. A little suja, mighty dozen green juice. And there we go, that's the little snack. I forgot to show you what else I got from Amazon. I think I showed you guys the gold earrings, but I also ordered leg warmers because firstly, they're so cute. I don't know why we ever stopped wearing them. I'm sure some people never have. Um, but like the ballet core style is very much trending right now and like for the rest of the year. Um, so I saw, again, it was Lauren Geraldo, who was my inspiration and who made me order these. Um, she had some on during a workout and they were so cute. So I ordered some and they were only like 10 bucks and I've been wearing them all afternoon with my Uggs, Ugg dupes. And y'all let me know if you like this, but I think they're so cute and it's so cold outside right now. And I was just wearing them to take out the dogs and like, they really do give you this extra warmth. Um, yeah. I really like them. I think they're really cute. Let me know if that's like a style that you're interested in at all. Um, like the ballet core or whatever. I don't plan on going much more into that trend than just the leg warmers and like potentially some ballet flats. But yeah, I think these are cute. I think they'd be cute to wear to a Pilates class too with like Pilates socks and stuff. Adorable. So, um, 
I don't know how to explain what's going on with my head right now, but like I feel like I know that I've gotten a good amount of stuff done. Gotten? I know that I've gotten. I've gotten some stuff done and I still feel like this feeling of like being behind though. Like there's something else I need to be doing or like I didn't do enough stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I sat down and scrolled on my phone a little bit too long and got distracted. Not sure, but I'm just gonna keep doing laundry. I think for dinner tonight, I wanna do some big like grilled vegan chicken salads. We have um, some grilled vegan chick, <laughs> grilled vegan chicken. We got some grilled vegan chicken in the fridge and some very crunchy, yummy looking romaine lettuce. So I was thinking I was gonna do that with some carrot slices, cucumber slices dressing and then potentially make some roasted potatoes on the side that's sounding pretty good to me um yeah and then tonight i want to wash my hair exfoliate shave self tan so that tomorrow for my lip filler appointment i'm like feeling all cute and put together Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It is a little bit after nine right now. And um, I did self tan last night and did my heatless curls. So I'm just letting those, by the time I like leave the house, they fall in a good amount because I don't really put any product in there. But the best result with these is like at the end of the day, because it's like these really nice wavy, um, just like perfect beachy wave curls. And then for like the next three days, my hair like keeps this nice natural looking wave. So I just love doing this. Um, did I say self tan? Self tan last night, did my self tan face contour. And I was just getting the girls kind of zhuzhed up a little bit because they have a vet appointment today at 1030. So I was putting a little, um, I'll show you guys what it is. It's this, um, I think they have it. I'm pretty sure this is on Amazon and I'll link it under like dog mom faves or whatever but it's waterless no rinse shampoo and this is the coconut lime verbena um, scent and it smells incredible like I want to smell like this it's so good um, and then I cleaned Phoebe's ears and her eyes and just kind of gave them like <laughs> I don't know I don't know what it is about taking the girls to the vet like y'all know especially if you've been following me for a while how obsessed we are with our dogs and how well we take care of them but there's something about going to the vet that like they'll find you know one thing like phoebe's ears get infected a lot and i do my best to keep up with them and check them as much as i can but sometimes like that kind of misses me so one of them today is like pretty inflamed i put medicine in it you know the second i see it i'll fix it but then like that'll be the thing they bring up and i just wish vets for once could say your dogs are obviously well loved and healthy and you're doing a great job just keep up with this thing but it's like it's like the same as when you go to the dentist you will be taking care of your teeth brushing twice a day flossing rent like you know doing your um mouthwash whatever but you're obviously not a professional so you're not like keeping them perfectly clean and then when you go to the dentist after all the months of like being consistent with taking care of your oral hygiene they'll be like oh have you been flossing and you're like yes what the hell anyway hopefully you guys get the point of what i'm saying it's like you can be doing the best you possibly can then you go to the doctor the dentist any kind of professional or whatever and they like make you feel <laughs> like you're doing a terrible job so i try to judge them up a little bit clean them up a little bit so they just like i don't know i don't know it's me worried that they're thinking i'm a bad dog mom but we all know i'm not anyway all of that to say i'm taking them to the vet at 10 30. then at 11 30 today i'm getting lip filler i'm so excited i have logged the other two times i got lip filler on my page if you guys missed those go check them out but i got half a syringe i think in july and then i went back for another half in august and now i'm gonna do one full syringe so 
they look good i mean i truly had no lips before i got any lip filler like when i look back at videos and pictures i'm like girl what what was going on having no lips is totally fine if you feel super confident and you own it i did um then that's great but like i just feel like lip filler is a game changer for my face um so i'm excited anyway i'm gonna go uh do my makeup pick out an outfit and all of that okay i'm all ready for the day um i'm gonna take the girls to the vet so while i do that my hair is going up and i have some my ugg dupes on but then i'm pretty sure i'll have time in between appointments to come back here and um i want to wear the closed toe point heels that i got from amazon and like take my hair down um i'm really into like the mixing of like streetwear casual stuff with like a classy or more dressy item um so the point toe heel looks really cute with like the hoodie and the puffer i'm having a little everything bagel with vegan cream cheese and i'm gonna pour some green juice also david's busy this afternoon so i'm gonna have to go pick the pick the dogs up when they're ready and i'm just gonna have to throw a mask on because my lips are gonna be all like swollen and looking crazy hopefully the numbing wears off by the time i have to go pick them up um because i will not be able to talk to anybody i won't lie i do get a little bit like anxious before um these appointments but on top of that i always feel anxious when i have to drop the girls off at the vet because i know that they hate it so much and like they're uncomfortable there for like hours out of the day um so that gives me like that puts me on edge a little bit and then i'm like anticipating a phone call to come pick them up like from the time i walk out the door you know um so then on top of that with the lip filler appointment I'm just feeling a little bit of anxiety. Um, hopefully that goes away. Maybe I should take a CBD gummy. This is um, by Alpen Organics. I will put their website in the description box along with my discount code if you guys want to try a CBD. It's really good. And these gummies taste amazing. And they're all vegan, gluten-free. Okay, hopefully that helps. And I gave Phoebe her anxiety medicine this morning with breakfast, so hopefully that helps chill her out a bit. I'm gonna scarf this down and then head out. Okay, I brought the wrong battery for my vlogging camera, so we're using my phone, but I just parked in front of the Skin Clinic Med Spa, about to go in. So here are the lips. I have some Aquaphor on, but here are the lips before. And like I said, I have one full syringe um, from like five months ago, so. But I feel like once you get lip filler, your lips like never go back to their original like size, which is amazing. Okay, so I did a dental block. It's kicking in quickly. <laughs> but this section last time like didn't stay numb. So we're just doing a little topical right here. I can't even feel my nose. Okay, I'm back home. My mouth is still super numb, so I can't really talk, but this is right after. And my, my lips aren't laying the way that they normally would because my mouth is numb. So ignore that, but I think they're gonna look so gorgeous. So I'm going to just edit on my computer and I'm gonna ice my face. <laughs> 
and just wait for the numbing to wear off and then when it does i will pick up my camera you guys i am in love okay the numbing has worn off a little bit but just my top section is taking a little bit longer but they look so gorgeous the shape is perfection um since i did a full syringe this time she was able to like just kind of lift the top and do more of like a defining lip line i think that they are so perfect and stunning and i know they're going to go down and every time i've gotten my lips done um when they're like this because i've been icing them non-stop since i got home so they're not too crazy swollen but when they're like this i want them to stay like this but they won't they will go down but that's totally fine i think they look so so good majorly into them so I was worried that I wouldn't be able to pick up the dogs because I would look crazy, but they actually don't look bad at all. So I won't have to like mask up or like try and get David to go pick them up. They'll be ready in like an hour. And um, I just got off the phone with the vet and they're doing good. All their blood work was good. They're getting their vaccines right now, um, but I'm starving. So I was thinking I'm just gonna have a smoothie, but I don't know that I can totally drink through a straw right now. No, that's a little bit hard. Okay. Let's regroup. I think I'm just going to go ahead and have an apple and something else. I'm going to need something else for sure. All right, y'all. So obviously the lips are extremely swollen right now. They weren't bad earlier, but I haven't really been icing them over the past couple hours because I've been doing stuff, cleaning up, doing the dishes, getting dinner prepped. Um, I have salmon in the air fryer right now and we're just gonna do like the salmon rice bowls that I think were in the last video There's it's so easy and it's so good But I was just telling David that my phone Isn't recognizing my Isn't recognizing my face right now. So like I have to put Let's see if it does it Oh, I did it that time. Maybe it was the, the angle like if I'm holding it down I'm not sure but a few times I've had to like put my password in because it's like not recognizing my face because it's a little it's a little different um david just got back he had a massage at massage envy and then went over to trader joe's and picked up some stuff and he need to go shower were you already showered already showered um i am so freaking tired and ready to just have my makeup off be in cozy clothes have a full belly and like go get in bed tomorrow depending on how swollen i am it's it's gonna get like i'll be more bruised than this and it'll probably be either this swollen or a little bit more tomorrow but maybe not that's why i like to get my appointments earlier in the day because by the time i wake up in the morning like i think the swelling goes down a good amount overnight but i could also wake up and it may be even bigger anyway I have nothing planned tomorrow. I didn't book a Pilates class because I wasn't going to go to a class looking bruised and crazy. Tomorrow I'm just going to probably edit this vlog and I want to just like chill and relax a little bit. I have like all these YouTube videos I'm behind on that I would just love to cozy up and watch. Um, I haven't had a really relaxing day that didn't come from being hungover, like a forced relaxation day because this uh, Sunday we spent the day in bed. But like I wasn't feeling well and there was like stuff to do around the house and it was like not a fully relaxing kind of relaxing day. So maybe I'll do like laundry and stuff tomorrow, but I really would like to spend some time just like slow morning, taking it easy and like watching some videos and catching up on stuff and just relaxing since I can't really go anywhere. <laughs> with my lips looking like this. Good morning guys. So it is almost exactly 24 hours since my appointment and this is what the lips are looking like. A little crazy right now, but of course they'll keep going down throughout the day. I feel like even um, by like tonight, they won't look this crazy. I do have a Pilates class at 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm hoping that overnight they just go down a lot you know just enough to like be okay going to class but it's so funny because at that studio like there are 
several women who have come in and been like, oh, my face is swollen. I just got a laser treatment. I just got microneedling. I just got Botox. I just got this and that. It's like at a Pilates studio, you're just bound to run into people who are like getting their face done. I don't think anybody will be too shocked by it. Definitely more swollen than they have been in the past because in the past I was just doing half a syringe at a time. And since I did a full syringe this time, the swelling is definitely a lot more, but not that bad. They don't, they're like a little tender, but it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt. Um, they're just feeling like super swollen because they clearly are. So today I'm just staying in the apartment, doing laundry, getting stuff done around the house. Also David's Christmas party had to get postponed for like several reasons. So it kept, get, get, kept getting pushed back and it's Saturday. So hopefully this is not so crazy. I will be able to put like liner and lipstick on at that point. Um, to cover it up, but I'm sure they'll still be like swollen and big, but I'll be able to at least cover up the bruising But hopefully by then like it's not that wild Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm gonna vlog um, Over the weekend and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video I can't even remember when I started this vlog or like what's all in it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will make sure to pick up my camera maybe tomorrow or like when I'm getting ready for that Christmas party. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.